Starting a new project is often more than just creating the Premiere Pro project itself. Let's say you're a wedding videographer and to start a new project you just choose your own custom wedding template, enter Natalie and James and in the folder where you keep all your wedding projects, Automation Blocks creates a folder for Natalie and James, copies all files you need, creates a properly named Premiere Pro project for you and even inside this project the sequence is named as needed for Natalie and James. Two hours later you need to start a new real estate project, so you choose your real estate template, enter the Johnson's Great Retreat on Maple Lane and one click later all folders, files and the Premiere Pro project are set up exactly the way you want it for your real estate projects. To use this amazing automation you once need to set up your templates, like the wedding or real estate templates you've just seen. And that's exactly what you'll learn in this tutorial, so let's get started. In the section Project Management of the Automation Blocks library, you find the tools New Project from Template Folder and New Project from Template Folder Multi. If all your projects have the same structure, choose the basic variant. If you have multiple different kinds of projects, choose the multi variant, which comes with this extra drop down where you can choose what kind of project you want to create. Before you can use the tools, you need to first set up a template, or in other words, you need to explain Automation Blocks once what your projects look like. Let's say I'm a wedding videographer and for each client I have a folder like this. So for my first client, Emily and David, I have a folder Wedding of Emily and David. And inside there is a Premiere Pro project with the name Wedding Emily and David and folders for assets, billing, export and media files. Now folders like exports are empty when you start a new project, but for the folder billing it would be cool if it could already contain an empty spreadsheet to track my work hours and a document for the invoice for example, where you just need to fill in the details later. Now to turn this into a template, I just copy the entire folder and replace Emily and David by template name in underscores. Next I also replace Emily and David in the Premiere Pro project file in the invoice and any other file or folder names. The idea here is that when I later enter an automation blocks as project name Amanda and Kevin, it will create a duplicate of this entire folder and then wherever it finds the placeholder template name, it will be replaced by Amanda and Kevin. In my example here, I always have some text before the template name. But you could also remove the wedding off here, for example, if you want your folders to be just the names like Jessica and Brian or Amanda and Kevin. So the naming and which files you need is really up to you, but I like to keep the prefix wedding off here for now. Now let's open the Premiere Pro project of the template folder to also customize that. You can see that my sample project here has a very basic structure with just some empty bins and a main sequence, but your projects can be as complex as you want of course. You can see that I have the name Emily and David here again as part of my main sequence, so also inside the project I can simply replace this by template name, such that this name is adjusted automatically for each new project I create. And again, you can use this placeholder for any project item. So if this bin should be Emily and David getting ready, for example, you can simply insert the placeholder template name there too. Now after setting up such a template folder with a template project, there's only one tiny extra step to do. We need to open the new project from template folder tool and open its block code. And don't worry if this looks scary, all we need to adjust is the very first line which sets the template folder. We click on this folder icon here and then choose the template folder we created for our wedding projects. You can see that the second block sets a placeholder name and this is exactly the name we used everywhere in our template folder. So if you prefer to use another text as placeholder, you could configure that here. The third line creates this user interface here, where you can enter the project name. In the case of our wedding project, the project name should always be the names of our clients, so we could also adjust this label here to be client names, for example. And as you can see, the user interface updates instantly. Now we save this tool in our user library and name it New Wedding Project, for example. And now we are ready to create new projects. Just choose New Wedding Project in the library, enter Amanda and Kevin, for example, and one click later you have a new project for Amanda and Kevin, with the sequence and bins named accordingly. And if we take a look at your project folder, you can see that the folder for Amanda and Kevin has also been added with all the files named exactly as we want it. 
One little detail you need to be aware of are autosave files. Here in the wedding of Natalie and James, we have not only the main Premiere Pro project, but also an autosave folder with copies of the project. If we would have such an autosave folder in our template folder too, automation blocks would copy, adjust and open all those projects with each new project too. Note that this is actually a feature. You can have multiple Premiere Pro projects in a single template and automation blocks will process them all. That's great if you want to have separate projects for your storyboard and your main edit for example, but it also means that autosave files are processed, so make sure to delete those if you have them in your template folder. So that's really all you need to do to create new projects based on a template in Premiere Pro. There's one more thing I want to show you and that's how to use the multi variant of the tool. So let's say in addition to wedding projects you also do real estate projects and for these projects I already created a folder here with a very basic template. This template just contains a Premiere Pro project and two folders for images and videos respectively. Note that this time I used real estate project as the placeholder. If I open the project, you can see that I used the same placeholder for the main sequence of the project too. Now, of course, you could create a new copy of the tool, new project from template folder and adjust the template folder to the new location and also set the placeholder name to real estate project. Let's save this as new real estate project. Now in the library, you have one tool for weddings and one for real estate. If we choose the latter and enter as project name Hillside Hideaway the Martinez Residence, then Automation Blocks creates a new project based on the real estate template for us. But now let's say you want a single tool which can create both wedding and real estate projects for you. Then you can use the tool New Project from Template Folder Multi. If we open the block code, you can see that the first two lines create the user interface. So first the project name and then the project type, which is this dropdown here. By default, the dropdown contains three project types, namely client project, internal project and quick experiment. And these entries are configured here in this string. We enter wedding, then a vertical line as separator and then real estate. And you can see that the dropdown updated accordingly. Now the blue if block here is a big case distinction which says if the drop down option client project has been chosen set the template folder and placeholder name to the values configured here. And if the drop down option internal project has been chosen instead use the template folder and placeholder name specified here. And since the drop down originally had three different options here is a third case for the drop down option quick experiment. Now we need to adjust this statement to our new two options. So let me copy the wedding text from here and paste it to the first case. Now we choose the template folder for this case, so we set it to our wedding template folder. And we can keep the placeholder as is, since this is already the placeholder we used for wedding projects. Then here we copy the text real estate from our dropdown and paste it into the second case. Again we configure the template folder and of course this time we choose the template folder for real estate projects. We also update the placeholder name to real estate project, since this is what we used in the real estate template. Now we don't need the third case since our dropdown has only two options. This means we can simply ignore the third case. We could simply keep it as is. Since this dropdown always has either the value wedding or real estate, we can be 100% sure that always the first or second case will be executed and the third one will never be used. But we can also clean up the code and remove the third case completely. To do this we click on the blue cogwheel icon here and then here we can add more cases or remove them. If your dropdown would have had four choices for example, you could add other cases with adding a new else if here. Then you could duplicate one of the other conditions and drag it into the new condition. And in the same way you could also duplicate the template folder assignment and the assignment of the placeholder name. So now you could configure the fourth case here. But since we have only two cases in the dropdown, let's get rid of the third and fourth case again. We first remove the content of the cases by dragging them onto the block library here or to the trash can. Now I remove the last two else if statements here too to eliminate them completely. Finally, I can save the tool as new project multi for example. 
And now I have a tool in my library where I can create first a wedding project for Olivia and Ethan, run the tool and done. And now with the same tool let's create a real estate project, the Andersons family's dream home and again one click later you've set up this project too. So that's how easily you can set up new projects with automation blocks. This does not only save you a ton of time, but it also makes sure your projects have a consistent naming and structure. Of course, creating new projects is only one of many tasks which become much easier with automation blocks. So if you haven't done this yet, download the free trial, browse the library and whenever a tool looks exciting to you, just select it and click the help button to see an explanation like the video you're watching right now. I'm Matthias for MamaWorld.com. See you in the next tutorial.